Hello, sweet Sunday night. It's the moment of the weekend. We've all been waiting for it's time for HQ Words. I'm your host, Word Queen, Anna Royceman. Check me out here all over social media, babe. I am thrilled about tonight's game. Okay, guess what, Word Nerds? You're so smart that we decided to throw in an extra five puzzles tonight. Okay, there will be a total of 15 puzzles, but don't worry, we're also. Tonight's prize is $10,000. Ooh, that'll buy you and me. We're going. Right, we're going. We're going to be really spending even more time with that letter, right? Oh, I hope it listens to you. It washed my laundry earlier, right? That was, that's really nice. So it listens sometimes. It really does. Whatever letter the wheel landed on is yours for the game. It's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more money you can win. So let's get ready to rumble and spell. We're going to spell words. Your first hint is classic vacation. Okay. Type in the letters P. Because that'll come in very handy for this classic vacation. Some people do this across the country. You ever do that? And the answer is road trip. Oh yeah, we're going on a road trip with 282,450 players and 21,700. Goodbye. Unfortunately, we have no more room in the car, it looks like. So we gotta keep going. We're soaring through this thing. Hey friends, have you heard the word? This Tuesday is Mardi Gras. And we're gonna celebrate right here with you on HQ Words with a Mardi Gras theme game. So bring your beads, bring the party, and join me here at 9.30 p.m. Eastern on Tuesday night. And if you haven't yet, okay, hit the subscribe button right now, appearing on your screen, so you get notified when we go live. For Mardi Gras, for other nights, come on, come hang out with me, right? This next puzzle, here we go, already creeps me out. Knock on wood, you never encounter these unwelcome guests. Woo! They usually show up in furniture, okay? And you have to clean everything in your home so they don't spread. I sure hope that they don't fight. But that's how you know they're there. I'm talking about bed bugs. Ooh! Okay. We don't have bed bugs. 2,000 are ready to move on. No bed bugs here. 19,495. Better check under your mattress. Um, because you were out on bed bugs. Can't be good. Hopefully, you can't pick up bed bugs in other places like the gym. Oh, that would be bad. Your hint is training equipment. It's good for crunches, it's heavy, and it might hurt if you drop it on your bare feet. And I'm not talking about a barbell. You got this. The training equipment is a kettle. Bell. Oh, I have, but I, I can't even lift it up. It's too heavy to lift. 239,000. Solve the puzzle. 25,000. Eliminated on the kettlebell. Pick it up right now, but I'm too weak. Whew. Anyway, I dropped it. Not on my feet. The thing is, I'm not working out. If you're it is keeping it cool. I mean, in all the ways. Okay, this could be, this could be a like air to keep it cool. You know, in temperature, mostly. And if you feel it, just do me a favor. Don't put your hands near it. Dangerous. It's a ceiling fan. Ceiling fan is the answer. 212,000 solved the puzzle. 28,000 eliminated on ceiling fan. I love ceiling fans, right? They just, you sleep better at night when you have a ceiling fan. Beyonce. 
If you got that last one right, you're probably beaming right now. I can tell, because I know a lot of these. What is this sign of happiness? <sighs> Everyone shows their joy and happiness in different ways, right? Whether you're a kid or you're an adult, you're an adult with a kid, or whether you're, I don't know, an animal. And the answer is a wagging tail. You want to see a wagging tail? Here you go. Oh, it's my dog. It's Bobby Flay the dog with his wagging tail because he's showing his sign of happiness. 207,970 solved the puzzle. 6,403 are eliminated. I hope all 207,000 of you are wagging your tails right now because you did it. You're moving on to puzzle six. But just remember when a dog is happy, it makes you happy. That's just the circle of life, kind of, yeah? Let's get into this more. Type in this life philosophy. Maybe this is your life philosophy. Okay, it's very chill. It's very relaxed. It's very hipster. By hipster, I mean it's very Brooklyn. It's very San Francisco. It's very Portland, Oregon. I'm just thinking of where this life philosophy totally fits. Lots of places. And the answer is keeping it real. Ooh, we're keeping it real. 144,182, you just kept it real, real. 64,266 eliminated on keeping it real. Wasn't so real that time. Okay, but real talk here, you may be keeping it real. You have a good life philosophy. But I also hope that you or are you too impulsive too emotional try not to lose control okay and you know what I'm gonna say in the words of Ron Burgundy stay classy San Diego and the answer is take the high road don't take the low road, take the high road. 122,139, ooh, you're still cruising. You're taking that high road. 29,000. Oh, take the high road. How are you feeling? Word, nerds. It's like anything. Sure. Can I get you anything? I have a question for the table. I do. This is a great question to ask when you have a group of people over for dinner which is what we're doing, or game night, which is what we're really doing, or brunch, which we did this weekend. It's just a, it's a polite question for the table. My question is, would you like flat or fizzy? What kind of water would you get? Would you like flat or fizzy? 11,147 solved the puzzle. 114,000 are schooled. You got schooled on puzzle eight. You're schooled out of the puzzle. Woo, that's okay because I don't have that much water for everyone. But I do want to know in the chat, flat or fizzy? What kind of, what kind of chat am I with right now? I'm going to say fizzy. I love a good seltzer water. Do you like seltzer or do you like flat water? Okay, now that we have our drinks, right? It's time to eat, but I'm keeping it healthy. So tell me if you have this classic health food. This is something I would say is best at breakfast, but you may enjoy it at other times in the day. Totally fine. And there are a lot of varieties of this classic health food. I like it with either some almond milk or a yogurt. I'm talking about crunchy granola. Mmm, I love a good crunchy granola. 22,300 solved the puzzle. 12,139 eliminated. Ooh, we got some extra lives used in that one, huh? On crunchy granola. Okay, my favorite kind of Instagram is when someone wakes up and they hashtag, I woke up like this, but what we don't normally see is this makeup woe. Right? People actually wake up like this when they are unfiltered. This might happen to you. This happens to me. Especially when I fall asleep in my makeup. 
or I watch something sad and I cry. What is this makeup woe? It's running mascara. Here, I brought you a real treat right now. Oh, check this out. Wow. <laughs> That was a rough day for me, huh? Can you believe I just bared my soul and showed you me crying my mascara off? 22,684 solved the puzzle, 891 eliminated. I hope you don't have too much mascara on. If you're crying right now, dry it up, dry it up. Okay. Remember when we were just talking about our health foods and stuff? How healthy are we, word nerds? Need that brain fuel? Do you need it? Could it be this natural drink? Ooh, a natural drink. I gotta say, I love and support a lot of healthy food, but I don't like this one. <laughs> it's too much like drinking actual nature. Even with a lemon. I know it's really good for you. A lot of people drink this fast, too. Because I'm talking about a wheatgrass shot. You gotta shoot it fast on that wheatgrass, whoo! 19,899 are still in it, 2,900 eliminated on wheatgrass shot. I prefer a ginger shot than a wheatgrass shot, right? It's too, it's too green, I don't know. Can you believe that in New York City it's snowing more now that it's March than it did early in the winter? Okay, we're still freezing, but we're also keeping things warm. This is something that you wear. Especially if you're layering, okay? Maybe you sleep with these? I don't know how you keep things warm, but you figure it out. You got this. Keeping things warm by wearing thermal underwear. Thermal underwear. One, 18,000 solved the puzzle, 1,400 eliminated. If you're playing from somewhere warm, you're probably like, what is thermal underwear? It's literally long johns that you wear underneath your clothes, under your jeans and your outfit, so you stay warm. You gotta layer in the winter here. All right, here we are at Lucky Puzzle 13, and I have a one question for you. What is this common question? <laughs> you like how I did that? This is also a question that my grandma loved to ask. Also, my mom loved to ask this question. It looks long, but I know that you've asked this before. And the question is, can you hear me now, huh? Can you hear me now? Anyone who's playing on mute, can you? I don't know. 16,552 solved the puzzle. You can hear me. 2,540. I don't know. Maybe you're eliminated. Maybe you're on mute. Can you hear me now? Can you? Did you turn your mute down? Your mute off? How about this? How about this? How about now? Yeah? No? Okay. That's okay. We're moving on. Tonight feels like the competition of the century, right? 15 puzzles or the Olympics of word puzzles. Hey, are you familiar with this Olympic event? coming down to the wire, so I'm not going to say much, but I am going to tell you it's a Summer Olympic event. You got this. It's a really mesmerizing event to watch. I love watching this. And the answer is synchronized swimming. Of course we brought some for you. It's incredible. It's incredible how they do that. Synchronize at the same time. I love it. It's fun to watch. It's a pretty incredible. 13,366 solved the puzzle. 3,562 eliminated on synchronized swimming. Also alliteration. Mm, can't ask for more. Okay. It looks a lot of players right now are synchronized in this game because you just swam through 14 puzzles and you landed in the final puzzle. This is such an accomplishment. Tonight we started with over 300,000 players and here we are at the deciding moment. Okay, as ruler of the letters, I declare you word nerds. And your final hint is also the queen's companions. I don't mean me, okay? I mean the real queen. And the companions are not letters. Those are mine. But not this queen. 
You got this for the win, $10,000. The final puzzle answer is Pembroke Welsh Corgis. She's got puppies, Pembroke Welsh Corgis. You know what, no one here is broke because we've got 4,698 winners in tonight's HQ Words. Ooh, you're taking home some money tonight, baby, yeah. Okay, let's take a look at our fastest players in tonight's game. In first place, winning $100. Tsitsit, I, Tsit Street, I think I said that right. In second place for $75, Chad 1M. What up, Chad? Looks like you're out at a party. And in third place, winning $50, K-Man 223. Hey, K-Man, you're the man tonight. You're going home with 50 bucks. That is the super game for tonight. Congrats to all of the other winners and our ladies latest HQ words players, okay? I would love to hang out for the rest of the night. I would, but I'm gonna go put on some thermal underwear and watch some synchronized swimming, okay? It's so beautiful. I hope I don't cry or else my mascara is gonna run all over the place. Not gonna be pretty. I am Anna Roisman. Follow me here on social media and tell me your favorite words you associate with a road trip, okay? I want snacks, I want locations, whatever it is. Maybe I'll shout it out on the next show. And what is that? That is tomorrow night at 9 30 p.m eastern for another brand new game of hq words have an incredible sunday night and stay smart word nerds you're the best good night and good luck